bring it back so you know which generation you're from um, back in the 50s, 60s the most important man in Abaco throughout all Abaco his name was Shervin Archer my uncle and right here he had a, a general store I'm old enough to remember coming in here his wife there helping him out and this is what happened after hurricane and giving you all some history before there was Albrees and Sawyers and Malone and and all them names the most powerful man in the history of Abaco lived right there that was like a castle right there that's what's left of it that's Uncle Servant's house right there and he had the only gated community gated house in the whole of Dundas and Murphy Town right there uh, right on Front Street Dundas Town he's on a hill and not only did he have the only gated community gated house this fella owned just about every piece of property in Abaco all the prime property was his he was also the first man of color to become a member of parliament for the UBP government. Know your history. Most of it die with us. But this used to be the king of Abaco Castle, Captain Sherman Arches, his grocery store right on the side there. He had many of mail boats, just like Brent similar to those now, have all these boats. Only goods you have come to Abaco if you had to come with Captain Sherman. All of that you see over there, Pelican Shores, every piece of that land was owned by the archers. The archers owned every ounce of land on Pelican Shores. Captain Sherman was the king. All of that you see with the government dockers, all around there, Captain Sherwin, those have to negotiate with the government to take a piece of that land that they own on the waterfront in Marshaba. They own all the waterfronts in Marshaba. Everything. Everything was owned by the archers. They always be talking, but you all don't know what's going on. Um, but Captain Sherwin was the member of parliament for the UBP, and the archers was the household name. Just like the Albrechts are today. Everything was arches, arches, arches. The arches is the one that saved the Albrees. The Albrees had plenty of children, but they ain't had no income. The arches have to give the Albrees those flour, grits, and sugar to survive. All because of the generosity of Captain Sherwin Archer, the Albrees had survived because they ain't had the money. They had plenty of children, but they ain't had no money. So Captain Sherwin, my uncle, uh, saved a generation of Albrees. All that land was ours. I wonder if they know that history or they appreciate the archers for their love and kindness and their generosity to have saved a whole generation of Albrees, Sawyers, and all the rest of them. And the man that did all this, this was his house. This was the biggest house in Abaco. <laughs> Only brick house in Abaco would have all this wall around it. I just feel like bringing you back into history because I almost died on the streets of Dundestan, so all this history was gonna die with me. So I'm just educating you all today on the foot taint of August 2022. That there was a king, a very generous king. And unfortunately, Captain Sherwin never had one single child. Member of parliament, the richest man in Abaco, but he never had one child. Wow. This is, that sounds like somebody we know in Marshaba, the richest man in Marshaba, but he don't have one single child, but he got money. And he also, following after 
Uncle Shaven, he's very generous. After the hur hurricane, the richest man in Marshaba bought up everything and he's helping all of his key people that works for him. Has not a child, but he has generosity. Thank God for him. Most places in the world, this will be, would have been restored as a, as a historical building. This will be a historical building. The first black man to enter in a white party is UBP, Captain Sherwin Archer, the richest black man in Abercorner's day. This building would have been restored for the rest of the generation to remember who Captain Sherwin was to the people of all Abaco. Very generous man, very powerful man, but he was the king of Abaco, Captain Sherwin Archer. This building needs to be restored. History must be continued to be told. The correct history of who were the makers and shakers of this town. And Sherwin was the everything man. Nothing moves in Abaco unless it was Captain Sherwin. All the generation property you see here, every family got five acres. Captain Sherwin government was in power and they make sure that every family that moved from old place in Cornerstown got five acres from road to road. Captain Sherwin Archers was the architect for generation of Dundestown and Murphy Town people to get land back after the hurricane of the 30s. It's one of these Kai Care video let you know who Captain Sherwin was and what he meant to the people of Abaco.